Let's all go to the lobby. Let's all. Okay, so today I'm going to be doing an unboxing for the Red Scorpion, Severon, Loth, and Honor Guard. So it comes in a big old bag like this. Another signed, checked by Forge World. Resonative model kit paper. So let's open it up and take a look. Okay, so this is what you end up getting. A little signed paper from someone at Forge World telling you how to assemble tools that you'll need, little pamphlet. It's the second time I've seen this come with the models. Like I said, I think they come with the bigger size models. Get some bases for the Honor Guard. You get one, another bag for the Red Scorpions, official insignias and stuff like that. And then this is the one thing that surprised me the most is that you actually get plastic sprues when this is a Forge World model, generally. So... Forge World still gives out plastic sprues as well as I found out with this. So this is one of the sprues, which is just general Space Marine, traditional Space Marine armor from 40k models, as you can see. Nothing too different, shoulder pads, chest pieces regular helmets nothing too different compared to regular ones of nowadays and then we have a flag bearer the one thing that is noticeable is just this bolt gun it has a little design inside of it power sword but other than that this is mostly what you would get from I think a commander box it's just that these that power sword and this bolt gun are a little different from what I've seen because it comes with an apothecary kit as well and these ones and chain swords. Next one is a little bit more different as well. For this, this is a little bit more detailed from what I've seen in regular 40k models. Little bits and pieces here and there that stand out that are a little bit different from other ones that I've seen so far. All of them seem to have the the Terminator armor based skull that's supposed to have a piece of the Emperor's armor or a fragment of it within it. But nothing too different from the jump packs. Maybe just the sh storm shield with a bolt pistol, this chest piece with robes. And then you have these two armor plate pieces. Which could be a different mark of armor, which look like it. And then you have Ultramarine's insignia for our red scars or our red scorpions models. So these sprues are based off Ultramarine models. So get some more bases, five bases for the models. So let's open up the last bag and then we'll take a look at that. So this is what you end up getting with the Red Scorpions pack, which is in that little bag, which is about 10 pieces. So first off, let's take a look at the chest pieces, which to me I actually really liked. They have a lot of the beveled look, a lot of exhaust pipes showing. Also for this piece, seems a little bit more traditional with the newer style Marines torsos. But everything else seems pretty nice. Next piece is going to be for the Librarian model, which ends up coming with his little book on top. It's a jetpack, which is 
traditional style Space Marine armor or Space Marine jetpack of nowadays. And then this is the model itself. Let's see if we can focus on it a little bit better more. So that's how he ends up looking. And then the next piece is going to be the Red Scorpion's insignia, which is the flag itself. A lot of details in this piece itself, it's just a lot of details aren't really in the bottom half of the flag. I don't know if that's because of the molding, how it was done, or that's the actual look it's supposed to be. But next we have shoulder pads in Mark III armor style, if we could get it to zoom in. <laughs> right. So two of them seem to have that red scorpion logo on the shoulder piece. Still have beveled look from the Mark III's, which still have that beveled style. Next piece is this one, which has two scorpions on this, and then a scorpion logo on the bottom of that rag piece. The next piece is the power axe or the weapons of the librarian himself. Because basically he's pointing with one. One's a power axe and then his librarian skull with the red scorpions logo within the two-headed eagle. And then we have some more power axes. Nothing with Scorpion's logoing on at all. So he could probably use these for different kinds of models. Has the eagle on top. And then this is their helmets. Generally when you look at these helmets you wouldn't notice that two of them actually have scorpion style little little differences on their armor if you wouldn't notice from the video you could actually see that three of the helmets actually have somewhat scorpions on them like there's a scorpion on this side of the face on this one it's on the opposite side which is above the eye. Right here. And then the last one just has two little pincers of a scorpion along with the top headpiece which has a scorpion stinger. And then the last and final piece is just the bolters. No insignia of the scorpions. The power swords have little Scorpion logos right in the center of each one on the top. It's very, very small, but if you were to pay attention to the detail, you would actually see it. But that'll end up doing it for the unboxing for the Red Scorpions and Honor Guard. Like I said, everything this side looks pretty nice. The only problem that I really had an issue is just these pieces which would basically be the leg, the bottom half of the space marines that would actually go onto the torsos so maybe I'll mix them up with some other models or other forge old models that I have extra legs for but want to keep it looking nice with these nice looking resonated chest pieces and whole entire body armor instead of just using these plastic bits but I'll end up doing it for everything. This is what you end up getting. Like I said, this is what really surprised me from any of this is that I was not expecting to get plastic or see plastic in a Forge World model at all. But I'll end up doing it. See you guys next time.